Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run Kingdom. So, I'm, I'm not even sure how long ago this update came out, but it came out most likely pretty recently, because uh, I'm pretty sure maybe it's been out for, I don't know, an hour. But, however, Cookie Run Kingdom recently got an update. It's not like a major one, just like when Stormbringer Cookie got released, but basically it's kind of like a part two-ish to like when Stormbringer Cookie came out, because they added a few new things, which uh, I don't even know if they're super significant. However, one thing that they said uh, they decided to add was uh, there's a new legendary costume for Stormbringer Cookie called Splitter of the Seas. So really, she's just giving Black Pearl Cookie the middle finger. That's literally what her whole costume is. She is just giving her the middle finger. I mean, technically, she's also giving she's also giving Sea Fairy the middle finger. And technically, Frost Queen because it's just frozen water. But, but like, I like how people are like, what was it like? Well, technically, uh, I guess maybe it was Moonlight, but I still associate with Moonlight with, like, looking over the seas. But, like, people would say, like, oh, well, technically, the Stormbringer, like, not associate with water anymore. So isn't that, she's a legendary? Well, now we can definitively say that because, yeah, sure, you could say, like, storm clouds start raining. But, like, look, she's just killing the sea. I know that should not be something to be, like, be ecstatic about, but just look at her. Come on. How can you not be ecstatic over that? Anyway. With that being said, I'm going to see what this update has to offer. I think what I might do is I think I'm going to try and do a few costume polls to try and get this legendary costume because why a plum not? But uh, if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on this video, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, then that's what matters the most. And also, I will be reading comments from the video uh, if I can find it. Uh, a dragon angers the skies from the heaven splitting lightning story. Now, I know what you're saying. Uh, aren't there a few videos that I'm like missing reading comments on and technically there is I will say this right now technically there is however Those are already recorded. And I'm gonna upload those hopefully after I get this video up because this is day of, of the update So I gotta get that focused on but uh, yeah, so of course they have Stormbringer cookie uh, Splitter of the Seed new legendary costume, but also they released two new magic candies one for blueberry pie cookie and one for Twizzly gummy cookie which I feel like I should definitely uh, try and focus on the Twizzly gummy cookie uh, magic candy only just because she's like one of my more higher leveled cookies and I do have a lot of blueberry pies However, I just I, I barely use her so I don't know what she's like But also the endless strawberry cake tower is now available and apparently that says endless So who knows how high that goes most likely endless so there's that and if you're wondering what the third thing is well Check this out. It's just pre-registration for for a tower adventures, which I definitely still need to get on But uh, yeah now let me just check are they here? Yes. Okay, cool. They got that, that, and, uh, yep, those are the basic four no new announcements. And, uh, I don't know if this legendary login package is still, like, a, is that a thing? Okay, I think, I thought this had to do with the cost. No, it does have to do with the costume. Okay, so that's also new. A new package if anyone is curious about that. Uh, but I will still get my, uh... If I can find it, free lightning rod thing. And also, I'm going to go ahead and get my game supply of uh, daily intakes. There we go. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if they added anything else in regards to events. I will give it a check. Uh, no uh, no daily gifts, unfortunately. Nothing there. Uh, lightning pass. Okay, God of Lightning. Oh, yeah, I forgot this was a thing. Uh, I did a video trying to go uh, for Polis or Stormbringer. And uh, you'll just have to see how that went. Uh, but there's also a Magic Candy Party. So uh, this is just so you can try and focus on the new Magic Candy. So craft resonant ingredients for the Magic Candy a few times. Craft a Magic Candy five times, ten times, and twenty times. And this makes it so that you can actually craft even faster, which is actually very helpful. So, uh, and you can do this one, which is repeatable. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and claim all this stuff. Yep, just clean out the whole entire kingdom. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get cracking on these new Magic Candy ingredients, which uh, apparently these take jellies, these take sugar. And considering I have, uh, I actually have less jellies than sugar. No, I have more jellies than sugar, what am I saying? Uh, I do want to focus on both, but I, I'm definitely going to go ahead and just uh, make these first because... Uh, Twizzly Gummy is just one of my favorite cookies in this game. I'm just being honest. And of course, uh, the Boliva Cream Unicorn cookie is working on it. Please don't fall in. It really looks like your foot is about to slip in. Don't fall. I, I don't want there to be another Unicorn Week incident. Anyway, uh, the, oh yeah, these things are done. Good. I've been slowly working on my kingdom because, you know, they, uh, this kingdom means a lot to me. And just clearing all, all this land is going to help me in the long run. Uh, clear up this footprint. It's suspicious. Don't want any dinosaurs coming in here. Uh, but anything else? Uh, strawberry Cake Tower. Oh, wait, there's uh, things for completing floors, which... Oh, wow, it can go up to 100, which I'm really hoping that the new Strawberry Cake Tower is easier. Now, there's also Ominous Cake Tower. Play the Ominous Cake Tower. Uh, clear Cake... Huh? Play the... Uh, play... Oh, wait, place it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's, that's a building. And reach level 5 for the Ominous Cake Tower. Oh, yeah, that's for leveling it up. Okay, oh, wait, what, what is this? Bounties, more Chaos Cake people. What? 
Dollar check to get ready. Ooh, I can claim these. That seems pretty good for 14 days. Why the plug not? And three of these bounty tickets. Okay, that's really nice. But I did get two other... Wait. Oh, wait. Level... Sure, I'll take those. And wait, wait, is that for something else? More chaos cake pieces. Sheesh. Okay, well, we're getting a lot of those. Um, uh, more chaos case pieces. Chaos? What? Uh, but sure. And then there's Kingdom Road Trip. Okay, that's new. Uh, buckle up and join Jinder Wave Kingdom Road Trip. I guess we'll take this. Day 7, we get a car. We can get a car? Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, we are five minutes into the video, so we may as well take a gander at some of the comments that were left before we get onto some juicy, juicy plumbing, hopefully, like, get some awesome How costumes. Find a relic? <laughs> Grab a shovel and dig. Oh, that's it's what so I want. Exciting. Uh, but anyway, before I actually do that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the screen. Sure, that's, uh, that. And then legendary. Oh. Oh, I want to see that custom ba I got, got uh, cutscene badly. Anyway, let's go ahead and just uh, do... No, we'll read some comments first. Like, for example, there's a whole list of Shafir Raganasagov comments with one saying, One time I really want to see how the Tower Adventures character will be playable in guests in Kicker Run Kingdom. Like, you want there to be playable guests? Because I don't know how that's going to work, but maybe it would be possible if they were playable. Another con that you left is, oh my, she is here. The Sky God herself. Here comes the lore in Kicker Run Kingdom. And I finally noticed Mystic Flower Cookie. Yep, it mentioned. Who is Mystic Flower? Am, am, am I missing some? Who is that? And the last comment you left is, uh, you left a couple more, but I'm just trying to keep it all reserved. You, you say, today I may go on vacation. I can't wait to picture these places. Okay, well, I hope you have fun on vacation, and let's go ahead and witness this. Hopefully I don't get copyright claimed for this. Okay. That's the Heaven Splitter. Okay. You really just gonna leave me silent after all that? Are you kidding me? Sheesh, well, I gotta go for some pulls here now. I'll be, like, now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the band-aid off. Like, the problems of this are gonna be garbage. 0.410%. Like, sheesh. Man, the last valuable costumes were, uh, were the flipping, like, golden cheese ones. Are you kidding me? Well, I gotta see if I can at least try and get this. Maybe there's a chance. So, we have some rainbow cubes that we can try and spend here. It's a good thing that I saved up a majority of them. Uh, so this could be something, but it couldn't be. Uh, here's hoping that's something really good. If it is, then I'm going to be ecstatic. Okay, so that's a problem, because once we see that, it means it's just a rare. Uh, it is literally one rare. Uh, so basic, 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 and the rare? It's Aurora Dreams, which I already have all these costumes. Which, by the way, I'm pretty sure if you want to be really exclusive, if I go over to... Uh, where did... What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you noticed that there's no uh, place where you can buy costumes? You can do it over here. But you can't buy the uh, legendary costume. Unless if you spend like rainbow cubes or something. There's literally nothing that you can do to try and get it, get more of it. Are these really all the costumes I have left to get? Man, I had a lot more than I thought. That's surprising. Anyway, I guess we should go ahead and do a few more of these. Because uh, why the fuck not? We can purchase rainbow cubes if we want to. But I'd rather just try and use what I have right now. Uh, but I guess we should do like one more poll. And then uh, we'll read a common question of the day, I'd say. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for it, because I think I already have an interesting one in mind. So, let's go ahead and do another pull five. Uh, so far, this is not looking too good, because I think this is just a uh, key to get commons. Oh, it's, well, okay, well, it's not common, but it's still rare. That's so depressing. Still one rare. Uh, bam, 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 bam. And last but not least, uh, Chili Pepper Cookie Prison Breaker, of course. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read a common question of the day right now, because just seeing that the new Legendary costume got released, I'm going to ask one that's pretty interesting. Out of all the Legendary costumes that are currently released within Kick Run Kingdom, which one is your favorite? Because as far as I remember, there is like... a uh, not too many, but there's still a handful because now you have one for, you know, the new legendary costume for Stormbringer Cookie, which is uh, just uh, Splitter of the Seas. However, as far as I know, there's one for Sea Fairy Cookie. There's one for uh, Moonlight Cookie. There's one for Black Pearl. I think there's two for Black Pearl Cookie, aren't there? Or there's one is Super Epic. No, I don't think there's such thing as Super Epic. It's just legendaries. But, like, there's one for those. And, like, I'm pretty sure there's most likely more. Because, yeah, don't uh, White Lily and Pure Vanilla both have legendary costumes? Which, they could be called... They can turn into mythic costumes. Which, oh, that's not a scam at all. But, like, be sure to tell me. Because, honestly, there's so many costumes. Which, technically, I can't even say the Golden Cheese one. Because that's not a legendary costume. That's just an epic. Which, still a really good costume. Still an amazing costume. But, out of all of them... I think, personally, my favorite one probably has to be the White Pearl Cookie costume. You know, for Black Pearl Cookie. Just because... 
it's not even just the costume that just changes like the character itself but like it basically turns into the character that you want it to be like this isn't about like oh i have this fancy new getup and now i act differently no this is like if the character was in their past prime if that makes sense which is one of the reasons why I love White Pearl Cookie just being in my kingdom. It's not the fact that she's just a reskin. It's like she's an entirely different character. And that's one of the reasons why I like this. Which, the thing with this Stormbringer costume, it's still Stormbringer. But, like, it just seems like it's upgraded. However, the White Pearl Cookie costume doesn't turn, like, like give Black Pearl Cookie, like, a coat of paint. No, it literally replaces Black Pearl Cookie with White Pearl Cookie. That's one of my favorites of all time. But, with that being said, maybe we can... I don't know if we can actually get the costume here, but dang it, I'm at least gonna try. I have rainbow cubes, and that is a good sign, so if we push all of our hope into this one, then we could probably get some really good things, because if we see some glorious costumes right up front here, then maybe, just maybe, our dreams can come true, and we can have a glorious time opening these costumes. I'm gonna keep talking, because the dream is still alive, the dream is possible, the dream can happen. Alright, well, I mean, to be fair, it is still an epic, which I'm not mad about, but still, I was trying to hope for that legendary one. Normal, 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 and the epic one? This has a costume. Is that a sparkling? Yeah, that's a sparkling costume. I think I already have that, though. Uh, yeah, I do. Unfortunate, because at the very least, if it was an epic one, I wish it was a new one, but... I mean, they do- I do still, like... They're still fashionable. I mean, look at those, like, golden stockings they have on. Like, come on. And I don't think those are pants, because they literally go down to the feet. Come on. But anyway, I guess while we do this, we'll read a few more comments. I think this is what this video is just going to divulge down to because, you know, I have rainbow cubes, so why not spend them here? Uh, but a gamer 360 left a few comments. One saying, I'm now playing Cacao Cookie Run, and I already maxed out one of the cookies. Three guesses who it is. Cotton. Did but didn't you just put down cotton candy? You, you literally put in parentheses cotton candy. I, I literally could have, like, done random guesses. At the very, I was going to go, like, something common, rare, or epic. I don't know. But... I mean, I guess you told me. I guess it's cotton candy. By the way, we got nothing in this poll, which is unfortunate. But uh, we did get two rares, which I guess I'll take the rainbow stars. Uh, and then two rares, Custard Delight and Loyal Royal Knight. I mean, hey, you can match loyalty and royalty. <laughs> you can match royalty and loyalty. And I'm hoping that at the very least we can get enough, like, good costumes just so we can actually go ahead and get it to level two, which gives us 1.3 times percent chance. Because uh, I really want this costume. And the other comment from AGamer360 says, Stormbringer is classified as an elemental as she's known sea uh, as she knows Sea Fairy. Yet Stormbringer created the Wind, Rain, and Cloud deities that was never seen from any, ele any elementals. Swan created a Wind Archer, but Swan is more classified as a god, creator of the Cookieverse. Hmm. That's some interesting lore right there, I gotta be honest. It does kind of make it confusing to, you know, mash it all together, because, you know, Wind Archer, but there's Wind Deity Cookie. I don't know how any of that works. This one is just a bad pull. Literally, it's just all commons. Gross. I mean, obviously, I expect to see it there at some point, but I don't know, but come on. We need some more luck. We need, at the very least, a few rares in there just to try and boost this rating up to even higher than before. No, uh, don't, don't be a common one. I swear, if you are, I will be somewhat upset. Okay, it's a rare one, which is fine, but just give me multiple. Okay, two rares. At least that boosts it up by a little bit. Uh, three elves, great. Gotta love that luck. Uh, milk costume and dark chocolate costume. At least, uh, at least there's a little bit of cor cor what correlation. Yeah. Anyway, we do have a comment from Shir uh, Shafira Raganasikov saying, "Hey, Hyper Himes, I have a question. If you could speak in to any cookie, who would it be?" Uh, if I'm being technical, I think the one that would be the best optimal choice would be Sugar Swan because she technically created everything in the Cookie Run universe. So I think that would make sense if I wanted my answer for everything and everyone and everything that she sees and everything that she created. Like, of course, the options would still be nice and wide variety. Like, you probably expect me to say, like, DJ Cookie, which obviously, that would be such a blessing. However, I gotta be honest, like... I don't, I don't think they would carry their CDs on them, which honestly, they honestly, they most likely do. I'm probably a false prophet DJ cookie fan, which I'd be sad if I wasn't. But anyway, I feel like Sugar Swan would just be the most often, which is so you can learn about everything. But anyway, we are so close to the plumbing, like 1.3% multiplier, which I know it's not much, but I'll take anything I can get here. Uh, but Rapage has no profile picture left to comment saying Year of the Dragons. I think it's, a, yeah, it is, a, it should be the Year of the Dragons. I mean, to be fair, Ananas and Pattaya got a good buff these updates, so that's good. Uh, but come on, after this poll, hopefully our luck is going to be way more better because, come on, Stormbringer costume. Am I right? Dang it. All right, well, we still got some rares. At least it boosts up just a little bit more. Clover, Wizard, Muscle, and the two rares being Tiger Lily and Milk. I've already seen that Milk costume, but look at that, baby. 1.3%. The rates are going up. Did it, did it upgrade here? It's 0.5% and 0.533. 
The chances are slim, but they're bigger now. So it's possible. Ladies and gentlemen and plums all around, entities and guardians, you'll never know because it could be something amazing in this pool right here, right now. Just wait for it. Nope. Okay, by the way, have you noticed how literally out of all these polls, we've only gotten one epic? Come on. We need a little bit more better luck than this. And two sparklings? What the heck is going on here? Anyway, there is another comment from Arian Funhouse saying, Common question. I remember when I started playing some dress-up Flash games on my computer. Not only that, but I love some cute girly computer games. Or uh, were you like the type to play like the Hello Kitty games? The Hello he Kitty? Uh, the Hello Kitty games? Because uh, I think I've seen a few of them. I just don't remember much. But, uh, hey, you know. Whatever works, and uh, there's actually only like one more comment on this video, so uh, I got, I got I, there's actually two more, but like, well, whatever. This one's rather short, and it's from Mona Wolf Deer, which says one star Stormbringer, one star. I don't, I don't even have a one star Stormbringer. I'm not that lucky, and I don't. I'm not even lucky enough to get the costumes. And it's only giving me one rare instead of multiple, so I can't get the percentage up. This is great. This is going fantastic. Oh, uh, I gotta do a few more. I think I'll do like three more just so I don't use up all my rainbow cubes. Uh, but the very last comment does come from Sonic Gamer saying, Comma question. I remember playing this edu edutainment game back in elementary school about a fish trying to solve a mystery. I forgot what it's called, but it's ported to Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Switches last year. Uh, uh, an elementary game about a fish? Is that what you said? I think I know what that is because uh, a fish trying to solve Does Is it made by the same people who made the Putt Putt games? Or, like, the Pajama Sam games. Because I'm pretty sure that's the only thing I could, like, think of. That's the only thing that I can, like, try and think of that has anything to do with, like, a you play as a fish trying to solve a mystery. Because I think that was made by the same people who made, like, the Putt-Putt and the uh, Pajama Sam games. But my knowledge is kind of slim after that. It's not that good. But anyway, well, great. Two more rares. Of course, if anyone expected me to get the costume in this video, like, there ain't no way. Like, I'm not that lucky. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to give it my good old-fashioned try. But come on, we need like at least one more opportunity. One more opportunity to see something pretty good. These are all commons. That's disgusting. I'm allergic to commons. What are you kidding me? I mean, I'd be sne what do you think? I sneeze at gender brave every chance I get because the uh, the option is highly likely. Uh, I'll see if I just get like 10 more rainbow cubes. I can actually go ahead and do like, what, two more? I, I, I can do that. It's going to cost so much. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's, that's the only time you're going to see me spending anything on rainbow cubes, because I think trying to get rainbow cubes like that are a scam. They take too much mileage off of you. Uh, so that's at least a rare, but maybe there's a small chance that we actually get something special out of it. You never know. Okay, that's only rares. Alright, the depression's kicking in. The depression's kicking in. You're going to see the first person hit rainbow... Well, actually, I'm definitely not the first person to hit rainbow... Uh, zero rainbow cubes, but I'm going to make it happen. Dang it, there's still nothing there. I think, unless, wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it. We might have something big here. No, it's not, it's still rares. At least give me a lot of rares so I can fill up that meter. Only two. Sheesh, my eyes are hurting. Uh, more. Those two, which I already have. All right, this is the last pull I'm doing. I know I said I wanted to save my Remy Cubes, but there's nothing else I would probably want to save for. Can I just transfer like one million coins to like a thousand Remy Cubes? Isn't that possible? Oh, uh, there's a small chance. There's a small chance. I swear if it's not. If you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and I'll show- Oh, of course, now there's three rares appearing! You know what that means? Look at this! Look at this! It's at level three now! Oh my gosh, that's actually the most infuriating thing. Like, and now the chance of that- what is it? 1.65? Mmm, gotta love that. If you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kicker run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, down below in the description, you'll see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the kicker on YouTube staff for absolutely free. There's a link down below that leads to my Discord server called the Hype Beast Hub, a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel, and lastly, a link to my Kofi where for just $1 a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal YouTube channel. But above all else, I will see you into these and Guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype News. I hate my life.